Hello, welcome back. Um, today you join me in tying a jig style pattern, um, jig style nymph, um, that's worked well for me over the last few years um, with obviously the brown trout, um, which is obviously where, where our attention as river fishermen will start to turn. Obviously, depending on where you are, your season may have started a few weeks ago or a few days ago, or it might be starting this weekend. Um, but either way, this pattern um, has produced well for me in a, a few different rivers. Um, and it's a nice, simple, simple pattern to tie. Um, so we're going to be looking at the orange tagged CDC nymph. So materials that we'll be using, uh, nothing too, too exotic really. Um, Thread-wise, we'll just be using some Uni Black um, in 8 Oort. Um, obviously we'll be using an orange tag so for my, all of my tags I use glow bright um, so I'll be using a length of orange glow bright obviously for the, the hackle we'll be using a, a natural CDC feather um, and then I've got two blends of dubbing um, the body is a hair and squirrel mix um, which comes from these guys over at Chuck and Duck uh, which is really nice really nice blend um, and then for the thorax, again from the same guys um, at Chuck and Duck, I'll be using the Shabby UV Black, um, which is a nice coarse hair. And obviously for the rib of the flight, it's just some standard silver wire. So let's get started. Um, in the vise, I've got a size 12 um, with a 4 mil bead. Um, usually I'll fish these kind of size 14s and 16s, but I've gone a little bit bigger to hopefully show you the fly a little bit better. So a few wraps behind the bead just to get that secured and then just touching turns with our thread rearward so we get to the end of the um, to the bend of the hook. Just about there. Okay we can come in then and get rid of that waist. So we're going to add in our tail. So like I say it is orange so I, I cut a length um, and what I will do for these flies is I'll, I'll double it over. So I've now got two strands and then I'll double it over again, which gives me the four strands that I need. Okay. Then an easy way, once you, you've got them, if you give them a little pinch, rotate them between your thumb and forefinger, it gives you a much easier tining point. So we can get that caught in. Make sure it's obviously rested up on top of the, the hook, which it is. Uh, and then we can add in our, our ribbon. So like I say, it's a silver wire um, to catch that in at the behind the bead, and we can bring that back. I like to just hold that that wire still, so I know where it's it's not spinning around on the the shank of the hook. Okay, and then once we get to the back, we can leave it there. Okay. So like I say, body it is a, a hair and squirrel blend um, and the squirrel just gives it that little little bit extra um, kind of a bit more dubby it's obviously slightly different to the, the hair's ear blend that you would normally get so dub that on take it up look to catch that in once you've got one full turn we can obviously take it out so we want to look for a, a nice tapered body Gonna bring that up to the back of the bead and like i said i don't know how well you can see that there but with that squ squirrel added to this hair's ear it just gives it kind of a little bit more of a, a buggy feel um, and again it's got that extra little bit of uv uv flash to it so we're going to bring our rib back through and um, we're going to look to add about five turns i'd say so there's one two three four and five We'll catch that with two or three. We'll go three turns and again three turns. Be able to cut in now and helicopter that off. Now, at this point, I will trim the tag down. Okay, so generally speaking, you want the tag to be at the base of the, the base of the bend of the hook there. Okay, so a nice straight pair of scissors, and that normally gives you the kind of the correct proportion. So we're going to add in our CDC feather 
for the hackle. Like I say, if you if you wish, you can obviously use a material clip and create a dubbing loop or split your thread. Um, but I think it's much quicker and easier just to, to use a feather. So, as you saw there, I pulled it, the tip back and took another few turns. It just helps to secure it. Trim away that waste. Um, and with the CDC, we only want to add one full full turn really so we don't want to add too many too many turns too much fibers so I'm happy with that so I'll come in with the thread catch that a couple of turns in front a couple of turns behind and then we're going to come in and trim away the the excess okay so we can strike those fibers back um, generally speaking you want your fibers to come as back as far as the the tag just take a few turns to secure that and then we're going to add in our thorax so like I say is the um, shabby UV dub from Chuck and Duck um, it's just a little bit quite a coarse fibre um, and again it's just got that slight added UV flash to it so we don't add too much this is only just a small thorax which we've got there Okay, and that's the fly complete. So, as usual, I'll come in with my vineyards clear, add a little small bit to the to the thread, and we'll give that a whip finish. Um, go for a five turn whip as usual. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And there we have it, the finished fly, the orange tagged CDC nymph. Like I say. Um, you can give this a few different variations. Um, obviously, like I say, an orange tag, a red tag, sorry, instead of the orange. Um, and obviously, you can change some of the dubbings if you wish. But I think the stuff that these guys have got over at Chuck and Duck is is pretty special. Um, it's nice and easy material to dub with. So if you can go and give those a guys a follow and see what they're doing. Um, well, yeah, hopefully you enjoy that one. You can get a few tied up and I'll see you again soon. All the best with tight lines.